So we've got a sequence question. So let's get down some slots. Just to remind ourselves that, that despite all the difficult language and the weird notation and the strange terminology, a sequence question is just about numbers in a row. So what do they tell us about this particular sequence? They tell us that a1, a sub 1 equals 3. So the first term, our first term here, which they call a1, equals 3. And they tell us that a2, the second term, equals 5. And they tell us that every term in the sequence after a2, so the third term, the fourth term, etc., etc., everything after a2, a3 and above, is the product of all the terms in the sequence preceding it. So this term is going to be the product of everything before it. This term, a4, the fourth term, is going to be the product of all three of the terms before it. Uh, so let's see if we can make some progress uh, with that and see if we can look for some kind of pattern here. So the third term is going to be the product of the first and the second. So it'll be 3 times 5 or uh, 15. Our fourth term is going to be the product of these three. So, so I guess 15, well, 3 times 5 is 15 times another 15 uh, would be 15 squared or 225. And I guess well, we could go two roots from here. Uh, you might have already just noticed a small little pattern there that, that this term is going to be, well, the term before times itself again. So there's a, a, a little pattern in there that we might notice. And, and I encourage you to, to, to see if you can use that pattern to solve the question. And in fact, I'll make another video uh, in which we solve it using that little pattern. Uh, but we also might notice if we don't see that that you know this this term is going to be 15 times itself again and uh, and see how that pattern will play out we might say well these numbers are going to get big quickly you know this is going to be 15 times times 5 times 3 so big number and then this is going to be a bunch of big numbers multiplied together uh, so we don't want to do that calculation so let's rather than multiplying it out let's just keep the numbers in their prime factored form. So rather than writing 15, this, this third term is going to be 3 times 5. And the fourth term, which will be just the product of everything before it, is going to be 3 times 5 times 3 times 5. Or if we just rearrange the, the different items, it'll be, well, if we just think about the 3s, it'll be 3 times 3, or, or 3 squared, and 5 times 5, or 5 squared. And then our fourth term is going to be just the threes will be three times three times three times three or four threes, three to the fourth. And same thing for the fives, five to the fourths. So, so we might be seeing the pattern uh, develop this way. This third term, we had three and five raised to the power of one. The fourth term was raised to the power of two. So we are I guess, doubling the power, doubling the exponent. And then we doubled it again over here to get to get uh, from exponent two to exponent four. So what's this going to be? Well, we're just going to double the exponent again to get three to the eight, five to the eight. Uh, certainly, we could count it out to confirm that, or we could use the that pattern that we noticed before that 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 this term here, or, or let's say the the what is this the the sixth term, a six the sixth term is going to be. Well, it'll be the fifth term, the term before it, times, times, well, what is this, all this multiplied together? Well, we, we, we said that that is the fifth term. This whole thing is 3 to the 4, 5 to the 4. Uh, so it makes sense that we're doubling the exponents every time because each term is, in fact, just squaring the previous term. Right? To get to this 3 to the 8, 5 to the 8, it was, it was the term before times times itself, times how we got there, which was the product of everything else. Uh, all right, and, and however we see that pattern, whether we just notice that everything's doubling or we think about uh, the underlying logic, we now know that the, the terms are just going to continue in this way. So this seventh term will be 3 to the 16, 5 to the 16, and, and, uh, and so on. So we've got the beginning of the sequence, and we've seen the pattern. Let's see if we can use this to solve the question.
But what else are we told? If a n, if the, if a sub n equals t. All right. So what does this mean? Well, a sub n. That's just saying, that's just saying some term, right? That's just saying the the nth term could be I don't know the fourth or the sixth or whatever. It's just in in an arbitrary term. Uh, so we're just saying the nth term, an arbitrary term, equals t. So they're just using another variable to refer to this variable. Uh, I guess adding a a level of abstraction to the question. So we're talking about just some arbitrary term. We're also told that n is greater than two. That it's not just the nth term; it's the nth term in which uh, n is greater than two. Uh, uh, so this is the third term or more. The third, three or more uh, are in there. So we're just talking about these guys over here. But it could be any of them. This whole thing that, that t could refer to any of these guys. So let's just. I should just pick one of them uh, so we can visualize this. Let's say we're talking about a3. Let's just say we're talking about this is our nth term, and we're calling that t. So if we just pick one and we can work with that, let's see what happens if we call the third term t. So if the nth term equals t and n is greater than 2, what is the value of a sub n plus 2? All right, so we're pretending that this is a sub n then the term after it is going to be a sub n plus 1. And it'll be this guy. It'll be a the fifth term that is our, that is our a sub n plus 2 term. So really, that <laughs> a sub n plus 2 is just saying the term 2 after. And they're asking for a sub n plus 2 in terms of the nth term. So they're asking this term in terms of the term two before. So we're just really just saying, how do we get from this term to this term? And I guess all we're really doing is saying, all right, we take this and we raise it to the fourth, and that gets us here. Right? This that that makes sense, right? This is a multiplication uh, inside the parentheses. So if there's an exponent out, we just distribute that four in. So if we raise the whole thing to the fourth, we get three to the four, five to the four, uh, which is this term. So, so what what can we determine from this? This means that, well, we know that that t, this guy, this one that we're using as t, we know that t equals. No, if I take t and I raise it to the fourth, I get, I get the term two later. Uh, I get a sub n plus two. So a sub n plus 2 is t to the fourth, and that leads to answer choice d. And I want to emphasize just one more time that like I put the nth term here by the third term just so we had something to pay attention to. But I could have done that for anything. I could have said, all right, let's call, let's call the fifth term my nth term. And sure enough, to get from the fifth term to 2 later, well, we're just we're just raising this to get from here to here. Again, we're just raising this to the power of four. Again, we it's multiplication inside, so we distribute our exponent and we get three to the four all raised to the four. Multiply those exponents, you get three to the sixteen times five to the four raised to the four. Raise an exponent to another exponent, uh, or raise something to an exponent and raise that whole thing to another exponent. That means we multiply the exponents uh, to get 16. So I guess this is one way. Maybe there's other ways that we can think about this this question, one that I alluded to a moment ago. Uh, but uh, I think this is one nice nice way to think about this question. Unpacking the language to get our sequence, we notice the pattern, and then we can just use one term as our nth term uh, to think about what happens. Uh, all right. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't. Uh, uh, talked for too long uh, on this quote. Well, I have talked for way too long. Uh, all right, I'm done talking. I uh, will see you in the next video.